Welcome to 2019. This is my first video of 2019. Wow. My name is Ivan, if you're new here. And no matter where you come from, your sexual orientation and gender identity, where you are, you're welcome here. And I know that goes without saying with my channel. And it's nice to be reminded that you have a safe space. I just wanted to sort of try out some new products and catch up with you guys. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It's not new, but it's a really, really nice foundation for the price. It's only six bucks. I got back from Utah, so I went there with my family, and it's really fun. I actually vlogged it. So oh, another foundation I really, really like is this Joa Beauty one. It's very, very like soft and like it's like liquidy, so it's very moisturizing. I'm just happy like brands are sort of you know, reaching out and wanting to include me like an Asian guy that does makeup to, you know, do stuff for the brands and I mean, be like sort of representing brands and be included in campaigns. I think that's really, really cool. And that makes me really, really happy to see. And I really hope it continues. And it's not just like a trend where like, you know, like boys in beauty or something like that people of all skin tones and all like nationalities are able to be included. I've also been loving this Madagascite powder pack. You know how much I like Madagascite and Centella Asiatica and this is a powder made out of that. I, so it's really really great for problematic skin and it just like blurs out the skin too. So this is from Apu. I got it online on Yes Style, obviously. I like to shop there. 2019, I don't know, like, it's so daunting. Everybody asks me, like, what my resolutions are. And I don't like, like, doing resolutions because I feel like it's so hard to keep up sometimes, you know? I definitely want to focus more on mental health. My mental health and just my health in general. I've been neglecting that, I think, just because of, like, work, work, work being where I've been like work and money is really important was really important just because I needed to like sustain myself and work and do all this but then in the midst of that like I sort of you sort of like get lost in like starting like why did I start doing what I was doing and is it just for the money and obviously it, it became apparent that it doesn't matter like how much money you have or how much money you're making compared to la last year um, if you're not happy with what you're doing you won't be happy and so I've been really like just trying to do plan out I think and think about what I really want to put out in the world and I want to be able to like spread positivity and be a voice for other people that don't have voices things are changing and I really I'm glad things are changing like the just for example like Sandra O oh winning the an award and so what she said was really inspiring and it, it's true that we are seeing a change and I'm really happy to be not just part of that change but also to be part with part of you guys in that change you know like be have it together because representation is not just like it's it's not just for like beauty bloggers or whatever or you know like having a shade shade range representation to me yes having shade ranges are important and all those things are important and this should still be continued to be talk, talked about um, but representation to me is about buying power and um, telling stories you know, being able to share your story versus having somebody else tell it for us. Representation to me is knowing that this brand supports you, so you so you want to support it back. You know, knowing that this brand supports a certain community and not just pandering. Of course, it's good to support indie brands and smaller brands, but bigger brands that are starting to like pay people of color or have people of color direct or even like POC owned brands like those are the brands we should support. The new Morphe foundation came out 
and I'm not affiliated with Morphe or anything like that. I just was very intrigued at the videos because Morphe is such a everybody's watching it, you know, everybody's looking at it. So I was like, what's the hype? Like, what is what what's going on? You know, so I was really intrigued, and it turns out it's like a sixty sixty shade range type of thing deal, right? That's what happened. Uh, some of the undertones look kind of like off and weird and it's like is it just pandering at this point because you're trying to make like shades for everybody but not really perfect perfecting and doing the right shade um, that I don't know because I haven't tried the foundation but maybe somebody that has a darker skin tone or even a really light skin tone can tell me like I said like I'm pretty I'm blessed that my skin tone falls in the, the zone that you know I can comfortably pick out my foundation shade but there are a lot of people that cannot and I can't imagine that and I don't want to act like I can imagine that because I don't go through that so to have somebody tell me or somebody share their light on it would be great um, if you have seen the shades of the foundation like tell me what you think of it that would be great because I really want to know and not just like saying representation is important because obviously there are a lot of people that speak of representation but I feel like it's such a buzzword that people just want to like throw their two cents into it without really thinking about what it really entails which is good like any time like any type of conversation about it does spark some debate which is a good thing but I feel like it just stops there like it just stops at shade range versus what shade range really means to somebody like what it really means to be seen and appreciate and actually feel beautiful if that makes sense so I feel like people should talk about that a little bit more and I want to be I mean I want to talk about it more using this Etude House Leopard Runway Palette has a lot of like corally brick tones and then like neutral browns too so I think I'm gonna use this brown color these two to contour my yeah I think it's I think it's important to not just release like a bunch of shade ranges but also like just get it right you know make sure it it actually sits well on the skin make sure then it comes to a point where like well now that you have 60 shades did you do a good job of making it justice you know doing justice to the skin tones and actually like enhancing the skin tones versus just coming out with like a foundation that sucks you know there are a couple things that i want to do more of this year that i didn't get to do last year because i told myself i was going to do it last year too um one is definitely like eat better i eat okay like i'm not like the worst eater but I used to eat a lot better. I just want to eat more like live greens, like raw greens, which I don't do. I eat a lot of cooked greens because I guess like in Asian food, more it's more popular to eat like, you know, either like steamed greens or like stir fried greens. I think I'm going to go in with this dual tone blush by Stylenda. It is in the shade Shrug and it's this color right here. Looks really light, but actually, maybe it is. It might be quite light, actually. The orange, I'm gonna put it up here, and then the pink, I'll put it here. To see how that looks. Ooh, okay. Shows up a little bit. I also want to do a bunch of like shorter films as well, speaking about like identity and stuff like that as well. So, we'll see. I'm gonna detail my eyes a lot more. With I'm using this dark brown um, Holika Holika waterproof liner and it stays all day. It's really, really good and really inexpensive. I'm just gonna tight line. I wanna read more for sure. Um, that's the thing I miss about being in school is that you were constantly learning something even though it's stressful. It makes it nice, you know, when you have to sort of learn, but once you get out of school, it's like, well, I don't really want to read that right now. So I've been listening to more podcasts, but I definitely want to start reading more. Okay, I'm just detailing the inside and the outside with the with my. There's one book that I really want to read is the um, the Becoming Becoming by Michelle Obama. I think 
Um, I listened to the podcast with Oprah, and I really recommend you listen to it if you, even if you don't want to um, get the book. And it speaks about how I think it's just like nice to hear somebody like her having, I guess, real life problems too with relationships, with children, raising children, and all that stuff. So I really recommend if somebody lis- like somebody listens to that. I'm using the new roller liner by Benefit. It's a really thin liner, and I'm just gonna draw on like small lashes. I'm going to use this red lip liner. Just gives a little bit of something extra. Just the inner corner, though. I really like the idea of like Michelle Obama hat and becoming because it speaks about. Her just going to different stages and continuously becoming, and that's really really a nice idea. I feel like people forget because she says in the starting of the podcast, she says like she hates it when people ask like, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" As, like implying that it's sort of like the end, like when you grow up, this is what you are. But we are so many things, and we are constantly growing up. So this idea that you've already grown up when you hit a certain age is. Obviously not true. Um, so I really like that notion, and I think a big part of me have has forgotten that. Another show that I liked is the Marie Kondo. Um, obviously, the Art of Tidying Up on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, please watch an episode. It is really, really great. It's about decluttering and how it helps with stress and your life. I actually declutter a lot of clothes and a lot of makeup. Uh, I will continue doing more because I, I find it. I have so much, and when I have so much makeup just sitting there, I don't know which one to pick up. I don't want know which where to start. It really makes me not creative, because I don't. I just have so much. It like blows my mind, and the, it piles up. It's a mess. Sometimes when you have three of the similar shape of foundation, I know this is like. First of all, problems, right? But really, when you have three similar shades of foundation, like which one am I gonna go grab? You know, does that make sense? So, I've been trying to clear my foundation, my stuff, giving it to my friends, giving it to my family. I gave a bunch during over the holidays. You know what the good thing about the Marie Kondo show is? Is that it sort of teaches you how to organize yourself, and that sounds really like simple, but If you think about it, when you're in school and learning about things, like they really don't teach you about life. They teach you about like math, science, history, like sociology, but simple things like organization and cleaning and all these things are like sort of like learned outside of school, right? And that's the good thing about this show is like teaching you how to something as simple as like folding your laundry so you can see it. It's something. Something so simple but so important because you do it every day. So I really think that show is really helpful that way um, because as Americans, as Americans, like when we go through the schooling process, it's not the most comprehensive in terms of life skills. I would say so. Yeah, I've been learning to organize more, learning not to hoard. One thing though, I would comment about the show is I feel like they should also urge people. Not to continuously keep buying things, uh, but one good thing about the show is like they or they she asks you to organize things in terms of how you can see it, so you don't have to buy excess of it. By the way, I really like this creamy tint balm, velvet red, by Mamonde. It's really nice. It's actually more like a fiery coral red, but it's so pretty. You can use it as blush too, but I use a pink blush today. I think something that is prevalent in Japanese culture, which is animism, is very obviously seen in her show. Is that thanking your clothes and the house before you throw them away, like thanking it for its service, and I think not just thanking it, but being aware that you know you are getting rid of this thing and you are acknowledging. Acknowledging stuff in your life. They're just not. They're not just stuff. They're stuff that has served your purpose, and it's time you can get rid of it. You know, uh, I really like that notion because when I used to live in Malaysia, when we go, 
when we would go to like hotels and stuff, I remember uh, they said you can you have to open all the drawers to tell anything that's living in there that we are entering the house now and just say thank you or excuse me and just small things like that just remind you that the world is more than just what you know and it's like sort of like a respect thing you know the more thing the more respect we have for our things the less likely we'll mistreat it and waste it and all those things so i really like that notion and it was a really really nice notion it was really really sweet and i think it's just very meditative it's sort of like a version of saying grace right because what is saying grace saying grace is thanking god or the universe whatever your religion is um that you have this bounty to eat and i think saying grace and thanking the house and things like that are good pulling back like pull it back moments to being present um this monk uh he's a vietnamese monk i, I don't want to butcher his name T not tan i don't really okay yeah I'll, I'll i'll link it down below he is the one that says he has a bell on his side so whenever the bell rings it brings him back to the present and reminds him to be present as a person i think that's one of the reasons why i like the show it sort of teaches you to be a person um like a more complete person if that makes sense and it just makes me really really happy to see it i just want to say thank you for the continuous support um your words mean a lot to me a lot of you guys suggested therapy on my last two videos so I actually will try an online therapy thing first so thank you for that suggestion um, I really take into account what you guys comment I feel like you guys really care for me as a person just like how much I care for you guys as people because sometimes in the social media world it's like every comment is just like uh blah 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 and I, you know like I always remember that every single comment is a person so it does the comments do affect me in a good way and I respect everybody's opinions and if they're especially if they're like constructive I just love reading it just I, so, I sort of get to understand how somebody else is thinking, especially if it's a long comment. Uh, it really makes me like think about my life and how you live your life. So, yeah. Let me just fix my hair. I also got a haircut, if you didn't notice, obviously. I wish the blushes were a little bit more pigmented, but they're okay. I really like this palette, the Leopard Runway palette. I think for the price, you get so many colors. It's very nice. I like a lot of the Flesh Beauty blushes, really cute, like nudie colors but not really nude. And then uh, this Mamonde Creamy Tint Balm for the lips is just really nice. You can build it up or you can have it like sheer, so any colors. Leave me down a comment below um, about whatever I talked about, either you have an opinion about representation and what, what it means to you. You have an idea about what shows you're watching that change your life, who you've been watching that change your life, I would like really, really want to know, and what you want to do for yourself in 2019, because maybe I can get some pointers and maybe it can help me too. And I hope that I am constantly helping you because I, I do want to constantly grow as a person just, just like Michelle Obama becoming. You know, like, it's just things like that that make me happy to share what I what I've been through because I feel like I just want to help as many people as I can if 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 it applies to their life so this is the finished look thanks again for watching um, I hope you enjoy I will have more looks up so don't forget to subscribe as well and give this video a thumbs up that will help my channel a lot oh yeah and we hit 400k and uh uh at new year's i think so that was a that was cool like it's just a number but that's cool because we are we all we all doing it together and i'm really really happy to have all of you guys okay this is the look all right bye
The lip color is really, really nice. And the foundation from Wet n Wild is nice too uh, with the powder. Really just like keeps my face matte and prevents breakouts honestly with the Centella Asiatica. Yeah, 